Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2021 Kia Sorento. This vehicle features a 2.5-liter inline-four engine. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax, and this is a Carfax certified one on the vehicle as well. As we get closer here to the front of this small SUV, you'll be able to see that it is a sleek glacial white pearl coat with chrome and black accents as you'll be able to see there on the front grille. We'll come along here to the side of this SUV and take a look at its tires and wheels. This vehicle features black 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels and as for the tire treads, you have got a good amount of life left in them, but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second. As this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Behind all those wheels, you do have mud guards, which will help to prevent not only mud from flinging up in your vehicle, but from anything that might chip away at the paint like gravel or stone chips. On the mirror caps, you do have your turn signals integrated into those. And on the inside, you do have a blind spot monitor that will light up if there's anybody in your blind spot, helping you to drive just a little bit safer. And underneath the mirrors, you do have a right side camera. This vehicle does have a right side, left side, and backup camera, all to help you whenever you're parking or going in reverse. And on the handles of this vehicle, you do have passive keyless entry. Passive keyless entry is really convenient. That's what that little black rectangle is right there. And it will let you inside the vehicle whenever it's locked without ever having to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. Up on the top of this SUV, you also have black roof rails if you ever want to transport anything up there. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this vehicle. Here on the inside of the vehicle, you do have a lovely light gray upholstery on the seats, very smooth and comfortable ride. And like I had mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making the way up the dashboard. While we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. And as you'll be able to see here on this inspection sheet, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 11 30 seconds in both the front tires, so like new tires. And as for the rear tires, you do have 10 30 seconds in both of those. And as for the brake pads, you have 11 30 seconds in both the front and the rear. So you have a long, long ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. I'd also like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get the original owner's manual with it as well. So if you have any questions after you buy it, you'll be able to look them up in there. We'll now continue around and take a look here at the rear occupant seating. As you'll be able to see here in the rear area, you do have three rows of seats to see a total of six people. And for this row of rear occupants in particular, you do have a USB charging port, power outlet right next to it, pockets on the backs of both of those front seats as well as to the sides of these bucket seats, and more USB charging ports here to the left and right of those seats as well. For that far rear row of occupants, you also have cup holders and USB charging ports back there for them as well. Down on the floor, you do have carpeted floor mats to help keep your floors clean. And over here on the doors, all of the doors do have cup holders in them as well as powered windows. And this vehicle also features a Bose stereo system as well. We'll now continue to make our way around, taking a look here at the rear of this SUV. All along the bumper, you do have rear proximity sensors and you also have them in the front. That is what those little dots are. And they will let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking. And like you had mentioned earlier, you do have that right side, left side, and backup camera as well. I'll just put the tailgate up to show you how much space you have here in the rear. And as you'll be able to see with the push of a button, it does go up by itself as it is powered. All right, as we take a look here in the rear area, you don't have a ton of room, a little bit here, maybe for something like a small grocery run, but those seats do fold down very easily to give you a lot more space. Underneath the floorboards back here, you do have a small space to store any tools, accessories, or items you might need under there. And I will just put the tailgate back down and we'll continue on to the driver's side. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience. And both of them do come with remote start as well. There is that left side camera underneath the mirror that I was talking about. This vehicle does feature power mirrors, power windows, and power door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have eight-way powered seating adjustments, so you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back, and then two directional lumbar support. You also have a telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can move it up and down and in and out to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel, you do have your dashboard backlight controls, your, again, that power tailgate button, electronic stability control toggle, which just helps to prevent skidding and sliding. And right here, this vehicle does feature lane keep assist as well. I'll now just get in this SUV and turn it on for you. 
this vehicle is a push to start. And now that the engine is running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see that this vehicle has about 40,138 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the right side of the steering wheel, as over here are your dashboard navigation buttons, so with these you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Underneath those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have again that lane keep assist as well as adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control is really convenient because as your vehicle is cruising along the highway, if it ends up falling behind somebody, this vehicle will automatically match their speed. And you can also set how far away you want to follow them. And on the left side of the steering wheel, you do have your Bluetooth controls as well as call controls as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. We'll now take a look here to the center of the vehicle. Here in the center of this SUV, you do have a lovely touchscreen, LCD display, and you also have built-in navigation as well to help prevent you from ever getting lost. I'll just throw it in reverse to show you all of those cameras in action. And you can also toggle between all of them as well. To the left and right of that display, you do have buttons for it. Underneath that, you do have your climate controls right there. A bit farther down, you do have a small space for something like your phone, as well as USB charging ports, and right here you do have a wireless smartphone charger as well if your smartphone is compatible. The front driver's seat and the front passenger seat are both heated to help keep you warm in the winter, and you also have a heated steering wheel as well. Your main gear shift is here, two cup holders, a small storage space here, drive mode switch, and then this vehicle also has a hill descent control. A bit farther back is your main storage compartment with a removable tray. And lastly, we'll take a look up, as underneath the mirror, you do have built-in garage door openers there. And all along the ceiling, you do have a dual-pane panoramic sunroof to really enjoy the sunny summer days. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. In the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away. So before you make the drive out to our dealership, we want you to know what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, the only thing I can really notice is some staining there on the front driver's side visor. But other than that, nothing is really standing out to me. There are no odors or scents whatsoever. So I'll move along to take a look here now at the outside of this vehicle. We'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections. Starting by coming along here to the front. Here along the front of this vehicle, we do have several small nicks, most likely from stone chips. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has some form of it. The only way you can really prevent it is just by not driving your vehicle. This vehicle is also a lighter color, so it does tend to show a little more than a darker color line. Come along here now to the passenger side. A nick there, as well as some on the back of that mirror cap. A few back here. A small scuff there. And we'll come along here now to the rear. Now often on SUVs, where I do tend to see several imperfections, is where the tailgate meets the bumpers. People don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And as I take a look here, you do have some wear there on that black plastic. And as for the bumper, you have a slight scuff there. But other than that, I cannot really notice anything on that bumper. I'll just put the tailgate back down. And we'll continue back around here to the driver's side. Some nicks down there. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a small white SUV with the ability to seat six, fold down seats with a rear power lift gate, left, right, and backup cameras, front and rear proximity sensors, mud guards, black roof rails, a dual pane panoramic sunroof, heated front seats, 
built-in navigation, a built-in garage door opener, two keys with remote start, a blind spot monitor, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, leather seats, lumbar support, and passive keyless entry, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this small SUV and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.